And now it's time for What is Sleep by Eric Galicia. Brian. Ugh, what? I'm trying to eat breakfast. What's wrong, Brian? Nothing. Did you get enough sleep last night or were you too busy playing Destiny? Destiny! You know, it's always important to get your sleep every night. What? What, what is sleep anyway? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you see, Brian, yesterday you were hard at work, doing things other than playing Destiny. Your brain categorizes things that you learn during the day and generates a lot of cellular waste while it does it. One kind of waste is called amyloid beta, which is a gummy plaque of the brain. At night, when you go to sleep, your brain cleans itself up with something called cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF for short. This fluid is essential in cleaning your brain and helps your brain to relearn the lessons it learned during the day. That's why when you don't get enough sleep, like now, I can say, What did you do yesterday, Brian? And you will say, I don't know, leave me alone! This process alone is one of the most important in your sleep. People who don't get enough sleep are at risk for Alzheimer's disease, depression, anxiety, and many other emotional and mental disorders. Well, who needs sleep anyway? Like, it's... It's a waste of time. Why can't we just take a pill to fall asleep? This isn't the Matrix, Brian. That's like asking to take a pill instead of exercising. Like I told you, when you sleep, your body and mind are actually hard at work, replenishing crucial brain functions. That's why most people spend around 36% of their lives sleeping. Let's take more examples of your rested self. When you get the right amount of sleep, you remember important lessons from the day before, like whether to eat an apple or a bar of soap. If your brain doesn't clean itself, you will exhibit poor memory, increased impulsiveness, and poor judgment, just like this. When you get your proper sleep, you have increased concentration, creativity, lower stress, and decreased mood swings. So wait, if sleeping is just this chemical cleaning process thing, then what's the point of dreaming? Well, now you're more awake, aren't you? Although today scientists still don't understand a lot about dreaming, they do know that dreams are very important and help contribute to creativity and learning. Albert Einstein used a daydream about a clock moving at the speed of light to help formulate his famous theory of relativity. Mendeleev was looking for a way to arrange elements in a table and in a dream he saw how the elements would fit together best and when he awoke, he formed the famous periodic table. Dreaming is so important that a part of your brain is dedicated to incapacitating the body while you dream. The brain releases serotonin, which inhibits your muscles from moving during your most intense dreams. And did you know, Brian, that studies at Harvard showed how people who play video games before bed and then dream about them are able to play with much greater skill when they get up in the morning? They did? Yes, they did. It's like they had been learning the skill throughout the night while they slept. Just like the Matrix. This could be true for all skilled activities. So when you're staying up late playing Destiny and you feel tired, shut it off and get some good sleep. Your body and mind will thank you for it. <laughs>